N Audio Library is a well-known open source library, and the version I use is as follows. Now we open the Visual Studio application. We create a new project. And we set the form like this. We write the title, MP3 Player. OK. Now we add the reference, the N Audio Library. For display, add some buttons. This button, to open the MP3 file to be played. This one, for the play button. This, for the stop button. Then this is, the button to increase the volume. And this is, the button to decrease the volume. Now, we have, four create buttons, to control our MP3 player application. Next, we add a text box, to display, the file that we open. Then, we add, the open file dialog component. In order, to only display MP3 type files, we fill in the filter, parameters like this. Before continuing, for those who have not subscribed, please subscribe first. Don't forget to click the like button later, and write your comments. Thank you. Okay let's continue. Now we are going to write a few lines of code. On the top line, we import the N Audio library.
Then we declare the following variables. The following code, to fill in the command, on the open file button, when clicked. With a command like this, when the file is opened, the file name will be stored in this variable. And so that it is visible on the user's display, the file name will be entered into this text box one. Shall we try? We click the open file button. We find the location of our mp3 file. Okay, now we've loaded the mp3 file. The following code is a command to start playing MP3 files. Next, we write the code for the stop play command. Let's try again, okay?
Next, we fill in the command to increase the volume. To make it faster, we copy-paste the code to decrease the volume, and change the operator so that it looks like this. Easy isn't it? Please try it yourself, and develop it further, so that the MP3 player has more complete features. See you in the next video.